The operating principle of a wind turbine is that we capture a cross-section of the wind from a rotor with blades and we convert part of the kinetic energy of the atmosphere into mechanical energy available at the hub that will eventually produce electricity. And uh, uh, this uh, happens through uh, the aerodynamic interaction of the blades with the stream. If we look at the cross-section of a blade, it looks like the wing of an aircraft. And uh, the effective wind direction is this one, and the wind will go around the blade, produce a high-pressure region on the bottom, and low-pressure region on the top. So this is the suction, and uh, with a, a, a lift force, which produces a component along the advancement direction. Now we should know that uh, the efficiency of wind turbines, of modern wind turbines, is close to the theoretical limit of about 60% predicted by Betts. And therefore we can't expect much improvement on increasing the efficiency of turbines. So where the, the wind energy is going is to larger and larger uh, uh, devices. But some things have to be taken into account and uh, uh, they are that uh, the uh, lift component should be taken large enough with respect to the to the drag, so lift to drag should be high enough and the flow should not separate from the wing because flow separation would produce a larger and larger drag. So this is it. <laughs>